In this video, we're going to work a problem where we are required to find the vector sum of forces. In particular, we are going to be getting these vector sums graphically. In most cases, you'll be working with a Cartesian coordinate system. So in either 2D or 3D, you sum vectors based on their components. But it's still valuable to work practice problems with vectors graphically. You learn a lot of the geometry involved in working with vectors. And it also gives you more of an intuitive feel for vectors. In this case, force vectors. So, okay, let's get started. Determine the magnitude of the resultant force, F1 plus F2, in its direction, measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. Okay, so we want to find the resultant force of, of the sum of these two vectors. Now, it gives us an x and a y axis, but the orientation of the force vectors to those axes. So it would be easiest to use i hat and j hat and sum the vectors that way, but we're, we're practicing doing this graphically. So, okay. There's your X and Y. Okay, now to draw F1 and F2, it's helpful to draw them to scale, at least the relative length of, of, of them to scale. So if this is F1, then F2 is going to be, so what is 375 divided by 250? So three halves, so one and a half times longer. So it's the length of that vector plus a half of its length. So kind of like that, okay. So now what we want to do is let's get this vector at 30 degrees. About like that. So that's at 30. And then let's get this vector at this minus 45 degrees. So like that. Okay, this is 250, this is 375, all right? Now we can add these vectors with the triangle method or with the parallelogram method. Let's do the parallelogram method. So we draw a line from the head of one vector parallel to the other vector and then do the same thing on the other vector. All right. And now draw the diagonal of the parallelogram. And that's your F R. All right, this is 30 degrees. This is 45 degrees. We'll say that this angle here that we're looking for is alpha, and we'll say that this angle is theta. Okay, what else? We know that this is 250. We know that this is 375. Okay, now we're going to use the law of sines or the law of cosines to solve this problem, but we still need some angles. So, okay, this is 60 degrees. Okay, we could determine this angle. Does that help us at all? Well, let's see. Let's draw some lines here. So, it's, it's helpful to you can extend the lines you have, or you can draw like the X, Y axes. So, well, let me do this. So 
So this is x. All right. So if we do, if we draw some, if we draw, does this help us at all? Okay, so we've got what? These two lines are parallel and there's a transversal, right? So if we extend that out and extend this, well, okay. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so these two lines are parallel. Here's the transversal, so opposite interior angles. Okay, now what about this angle? Well, okay, let's look at this. We can also do opposite interior angles here. And then if we do that, this is 30. Okay, so these are the same. So that means this is 30, right? That's 30, that's 30. Now, can we come here now? Yeah, opposite interior angles. Right, this is, this is going to be 45 as well. There we go. Okay. So now we've got that this angle here is 75 degrees. All right, so we've got these two lengths. We've got the angle between those two lengths, so that's perfect for the law of cosines. So the law of cosines says that the length of FR is equal to so A squared plus B squared, 2A, B, cosine of 75. Okay, 250 squared plus 375 squared minus 2 times 250 times 375 times cosine of 75. Now take the square root of that. 393.2. Okay, that's FR. Okay, now we just need to find alpha. So let's first find theta, and then alpha is just, because theta plus alpha is 45 degrees. So if we find theta, then just take 45 minus theta and you get alpha. So let's use the law of sines here. And we can say that the, the sine of theta over 250 is equal to the sine of 75, this is 75, over FR, which is 393.2. So sine theta is equal to Point six one four one four four okay, 
Okay, so theta is equal to, let's take the inverse sine of 37.89. Okay, so now alpha is equal to 45 minus that theta. So 45 minus 7.11 degrees. All right, but it says the direction of FR measured counterclockwise from the positive X axis. So it wants us to start here and go all the way around to FR. So we need to take 360 minus alpha. Three fifty two point nine. Okay, so at nine degrees.